Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Simon, similar person known as Cranky. Please do follow me on Instagram, Cranky underscore Angela, and please don't forget to subscribe to be part of this beautiful family. And if you're not a subscriber, regular duo, what's good, Lily? Thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate your continuous support. Guys, can you believe that the time right now is? And I'm here shooting a video for you guys. That's how serious I take you guys. The time right now, it's 10 minutes past 12. AM and I'm here shooting a video because child during the day we, we, we experience in low shading and I can't do proper videos for you guys you get yeah but yeah if you're new here don't forget to subscribe you need to subscribe uh, hi welcome back so guys throughout this video I'm gonna be eating guys I'm so tired I'm literally so tired so I'm gonna be, eat, be eating my noodles so please never mind me you know yeah I'm gonna be eating and I hope you guys don't mind and I'm also gonna be sipping my cold drink here you know yeah just to, to eat guys I haven't eaten anything since like for supper you get yeah so guys as you can see by today's title today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my university experience i've been wanting to do i've been wanting to do this video for the longest time ever but i was just like you know what waiting for the right time and now since i'm done like with my qualification i'm just like you know what let me just do it you know because after my first year not really after my first year last year i went i, I was i was I wanted to do like um, a first year what do you call this a first year, first year experience my first year experience and i was just like you know a bit skeptical about it but now i think i'm ready and i know what to say and what not to say again yeah so yeah guys let me not waste any more of your time i don't want to make this video long i just want to share the most important things that you guys need to know and also share my story you know how my university journey was you know and obviously you know guys my university journey is not going to be the same as to yours you know if you're in university obviously we have like different experiences you get yeah so yeah guys <laughs> let's start with the video also guys to those who do not know i am um, i just finished my qualification i was studying at nelson mandela university and i was doing a three-year qualification i just finished recently and yeah this is my student card huh, i'm not gonna show you guys my picture i look so ugly in this picture let me just Ooh, son i look like a hobo it was giving ghetto you know yeah but yeah this is my student card and yeah to those who don't know i was studying at nelson mandela university and currently i'm um, i'm working you know i'm working and i love it for myself so guys um i am originally from pretoria and in nelson mandela university which to those who do not know it's in port elizabeth and the other one the other campus is in what do you call this the other branch is in george campus you know yeah it's in where's george western cape yeah, in Western Cape because I'm in I'm in I'm in Eastern Cape right now, you know. Yeah. So the one that I'm studying at it's at um it's here in because I'm here guys, like it's here in what do you call this in Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth, and I was studying at Second Avenue Campus High School at Sanas. <laughs> So guys, um, I got the acceptance um, 2020. I was on a gap year to those who don't know. I was on a gap year 2020, 2019. Yeah, because I started my first year 2020. So 2019, I was on a gap year. Okay, guys, let's continue with the video. As I was saying, I am originally from Pretoria to those who do not know. And I'm currently in Port Elizabeth. And I don't know if I'm going to continue with school or, or not, you know, yeah, story for another day, we had one, but yeah, we're just here to share my university journey of like my first year, second year, and my third year, and how fast it was to me, you know, and the experiences that I got, and yeah, that's basically what this video is going to be all about, you know, yeah, so my family, <laughs> guys, my family was so uncomfortable with the idea that I wanted to move to PE, guys, because First of all, I am the first one in the Siemola family to go to university. So they were not sure if like it was going to be like safe. Like Kelvana, like obviously they overthink things, you know. Yeah, Kelvana, like moving from one province to another, like leaving UJ, leaving TUT, like those universities that are like near home and me deciding to go like to, to NMU child, like in the Eastern Cape, which is like a 20 hour drive using a bus. And which means you, you leave today, you're going to arrive tomorrow, you know. So my parents were just like not getting the idea of me having to move to PE, you know, like for full time studies and stuff, you know. Yeah, but I had to talk to them and they understood and they were like, you know what, you should visit home like now and again, you know, when you close at school, you should come home just to come and recharge and stuff. You get, yeah. So the reason as to why I didn't apply as uh, to those universities that are near home, I wanted to be far from home, guys, like legit. I wanted to be far from home, you know, I don't love being in a place whereby it's, it's near home i love being in a in a different environment you know because me being in tut or uj it's just like i'm still home you know i want to move like i love moving out of my comfort zone and trying new things you get yeah so i i didn't apply there 
I didn't apply there. I know I could have qualified and stuff, but I didn't apply. I wanted I applied at Limpopo, which was the university of, which is the University of Limpopo. I applied at Venda, University of Venda. I also applied, I think, at UCT, Wusu and Nelson Mandela University. I think those five. Yeah. Those five universities that are just like far from home literally you know yeah so my parents uh i had to make them understand and they were understanding and they they understood they were like okay it's fine we we're giving you the permission to just leave you know yeah so i left pe i left home sorry i left pretoria with no idea of where i'm going to child <laughs> i love taking risks so much okay guys let's take it by you are I'm starving. I hope the sound is not annoying because I also don't like watching like people while they are eating, you know, it's just giving me a lot of stuff, you know, yeah. So I took a bus to, to PE, you know, I just bought a bus and I came to PE, child, you know, on my way to PE, obviously I didn't know where I was going. The phone that I was using, child, it was a very small, I think I was using Mobistyle by that time. Yeah, it was this Mobistyle and the, the screen was cracked. Oh, child, I was suffering. I was legit suffering, you know. And obviously I didn't know where I was going. I was like, you know what? I will see when I get there yet. Yeah. So I took a bus to PE. <laughs> one, thing I, that, one thing that really excited me about going to PE it was the beach like nothing else nothing like i was not thinking about like school and don't do and stuff i know obviously i was just coming here for school and stuff but one thing that like drew my attention to loving pe was just the beach because in pretoria like in Gauteng in general we do not have a beach you know so i was like okay so you want say buguda and stuff you know and yeah so on my way there i i saw this other guy let me just give him like his flowers like please jabu if you're watching this video my guy Kaleboha, Diabonga, and that cancer, please. You know, um, I met this guy. Uh, he was Kiobana, like NMB, they have, they have this. If you're studying at Nelson Mandela University, you know that they have this branded, what do you call this, uniforms and stuff. Like, I call them uniform, like t shirts, what do you call this, school bags and stuff. So, he had like a school bag, and I think he was, what do you call this, he was taking out his laptop from the, from the school bag, like it was up up his seat you know he was taking the the bag and removing his laptop like just to use it and stuff i don't know what he was doing with the laptop and stuff you know yeah so i was like oh i saw nelson mandela university i was just like okay let's take a deep breath we're gonna ask this guy what to do now because i first of all i don't know where i'm going secondly this guy is gonna like help me man if i don't open my mouth and i'm gonna get lost literally you know so I, Gambamba, I, I, like, we were sitting, like, opposite next to each other, I think. If not opposite, I think I was sitting in the, you see, a Pambili and I, he was sitting at the back of me, you know, yeah, but we we're not sitting in the same seat. Then I went to him, I think, after a couple of minutes, because I just wanted to get my speech together and know what to say to him, you know. And also, guys, the, like, the language part was also, like, just, like, woo, guys, see me, like, I don't know, I didn't know what to say, because, first, I'm a Tswana, uh, yes, I know, like, Zulu, but I was just, like, which language should I go to him? And my English by that time, guys, was not good. It was not good. I'm not going to come here and lie to you guys and say, hey, I was speaking level 7 English. No, my English this time was not good. You know, I love how my English has improved. And, you know, it just makes me happy, you know, yeah. And because, like, looking back, child, hmm, I get taken giving you that video right now. I don't believe if, like, I could have, like, had the, the strength and the energy and you know this whole thing of me like just talking here in front of you guys like in the camera you know yeah without me like getting making mistakes and stuff you know yeah but like my english was not of the good don't do you know yeah of the good whatever you call it you know yeah it was not good like let's just put it that way you know yeah it was not good then i went to him i don't know if i spoke to anna i spoke to, oh i think i spoke zulu because yeah i spoke zulu i went to him and i asked him i put unjani shosho Kapila, uh, are you going to Nelson Mandela University? And he was like, yeah, I'm going there. And I was like, you know what, can you please help me out, man? I don't know where I'm going. Uh, you know, my, my, like I told him like the whole story, you know, like my residence was, because I had like initially applied at, on campus, you know, like I applied on campus because I just wanted to be like on campus, you know. So, and also I didn't know like the difference between on campus and off campus. So guys, like don't blame, don't, 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 don't blame, don't blame me. What am I saying? 
don't blame me yeah it's the correct word yeah don't blame me because guys i'm the first one in my my family to like to go to varsity so all of these things like they were just starting with me no one had like briefed me like before would see this is what you to expect in university you know so i had to like start edit everything from scratch and also guys data data is so expensive you know like having to just buy data do some research is just it was just a lot you know for me i mean i my picture and i was just looking at the pictures would say, okay this is where i'm going i'm going to pe you know i was not even interested in the picture of like the university stuff i want to say hey that's me i was to swim at that time i can't even swim Woo! for crying out loud i can't even swim but i just wanted to be in pe you know i think that was just the most exciting thing of me like just having to wanting to go to pe you get yeah then we spoke me and the guy and we understood each other communication was super great and um oh he told me that you know what no bro chill you know jabu is a chilled guy i love that man so so much you know he helped me guys yo i only deal a shame because if being a suya stand over the map parallel ip even to the map you stand okay fast forward oh the guy told me that ah, no bro relax i'm gonna tell you when we when we reach like the destination because like if i say yeah but like ima like it could stop at this place maybe at Grahamstown, you know and i didn't know i was just seeing people like going outside the bus and i was just like oh man okay 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 you know and he was like no don't worry pa is the last that's is the final destination that's where we go with you know yeah the bus is gonna stop there and everybody in the bus is gonna be like it's gonna move it's gonna go out of the bus you know yeah they're gonna go out and just you know take their bags and stuff you know cool stuff <laughs> we arrived in pe no son another pandemic another pandemic not my suitcase son i'm a really a puma because then i had like taken food from home go on a little spaghetti i had put spaghetti i had put what do you call this these things that you take like normally january when you're going back to rest because like how not finding it and babazali like it's that time of the month like financially you know it's going down you know yeah so excuse me so i had taken all of that you know and also my clothes i had taken a blanket no i didn't take a blanket i i think i took like what do you call this bed covers and stuff and like a, a pillowcase and stuff yeah and I, I took like pods yo guys in my suitcase yeah that time it's raining cats and dogs in pe sana it's raining cats and dogs yo 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 uh what we should, what did we do okay the the guy helped me to carry the suitcase from the mistaken then we went to his rest he was staying not so far yeah we took like a taxi to the rest that he was staying at and they told they told him that you know what the rest currently they are renovating it and we moved to another your thunder that was the worst day of my life yo that time it's raining i am so 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 wet you know i wanted to crash him but i was just like you know what at least i arrived safe you know like wow because if nagali one if i was alone what was i gonna do like I was just gonna stand there by the train station, by the bus station, and just like stare at everyone and be like, "This is where I'm going to this." But maybe people were gonna help. We don't know, you know. Yeah, let's just not conclude things, you know, because people here in PE are very like, you no, know, PE like poorly. It's very chilled as compared to Joe. Like Joe, like figure out that they take everything that you have, you know. Yeah, at PE like like it pass, but in my Texas summer strength, I was just gonna get them like, what do you call this after like umquaco, like after like. I don't know what it's called in English, but yeah, we move. We move, we move, you know. Yeah. Then okay, we went to the second dress and we got there, we stayed together. It was lovely, it was nice. And after I think a month, they told us to like they separated us. He moved to the old dress that we went to, where they were saying they were renovating and stuff, and I moved to another residence, you know, like yeah, but we and Chabu, me and Chabu we still like communicating, still in good terms and we're still helping each other where we can. That man helped me throughout because like yes, I came to PE with no like at home I told them that you know what chill can pull me. I'm going to PE and as far as it's so tidy, go everything it's fine. You don't worry, don't worry. Just make that let's make sure that you know what I get food for like this week only, like for a week. Then after then, after I go to register, you know, I'm gonna get my money and give it rich. You get I stand a pili video call. Oh, I went to orientation. I went to orientation, I think for a day. Yo guys in go orientation in gas at that I was so scared. I was so scared. More people are so focused. And I arrived late. 
because like Jabu, like because only pay money to what you call this to take a taxi and what he was going to show me the taxi rank with the Nitata from like the rest to summer strand which is to to not what you call summer strand yeah that's where the campus is located and hey guys in man finally arrived late gestern people are so focused in the class it was just like it's, it's our first day in class and it was just like orientation people needed to be like people find good baby very chilled way too like they needed to relax they were too formal i arrived there they asked me what is my name i told them my name is simon me hey where are you from me hey, what color do you love you know those ice breaking things and we did that it was a lovely day i met amazing people some some other people i still talk to them even today we met there by the orientation and after that what happened okay guys <laughs> and as far as did and as far as not take because guys like the minute they told me they they, they said rest the avula yo I was packing my bags. I was like, you know what? I'm leaving. I didn't know that you have to wait for a clearance SMS. You have to wait for your, your registration. Don't do me. I was like, you know what? I need to move to PE, you know? Yeah. I think also the one thing that was making me want to move to PE as quickly as possible, it was what you call this, the orientation, because I want to, orient to attend the orientation, to you know, like, so to those who don't know, the orientation is just like induction. Like they show you like where you're going to be attending the classes different classrooms you know like but with the campus that i was attending i'd like it was just like an easy one because it's not big you know as compared to like south campus and other campuses you know yeah so mine was just like okay if you know the building numbers you're just good if you know the library you're good if you know the cafeteria you are good you know yeah and also guys i was struggling because the terminology that they were using you know, they saying cafeteria there is the library there's a the lab there is this there is this i get to see at that time i'm just like Ooh. I still have a long way to learn these things, you know. I was literally on my pen, like, writing it. Okay, this is the cafeteria. This is what, what, cafeteria where you get food. No, guys, you know, I was just, like, in my terminology era at that time. Because I was just like, you know what, at this particular point, I need to learn these things. Because, wow, they're going to help me, you know, yeah, like, with communicating. Because, like, Ongumundu at the university is using those terminologies. Though. So, if you don't know them, ask them like you know yeah but let's eat let's eat yo uh -uh. my university Jenny son it was a lot it was a lot this phone better not switch off because wow i'm gonna scream hmm. guys i'm so sorry for eating yo i'm so hungry what is the time Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I was just checking a message from this other person, you know. Yeah. And what were we, what were we, what, what, what were we talking about, Guanin? Okay, and as far as, oh, it came through after a month. Ah, guys, I didn't have a rich guess. Ah, 5.2 book allowance. Ah, 1.5 food allowance. All in all, it was 7.7. 7. 7.7. Uh, uh, 7. Mm -hmm. 7.5 mm -hmm. Ah, 6.5 Guys, you like, uh -uh, where's my calculation? Don't, don't Yeah, be I'm only 6.5 Yeah, I'm not My IntelliCard, my Intelli The IntelliCard, it was the, the card that we were using The time I was, I was using NSFAS So to those who don't know, I was using NSFAS I was not using any other bursary I was an NSFAS beneficiary, you know, yeah So with NSFAS, everything for me was just like smooth sailing Like with like the application process and stuff, you know Like the thing that took long It was me receiving the Sorry, the clearance SMS, you know, yeah. But luckily, I received it like before we commenced with classes, you know, yeah, which like really helped me because like I I managed to get books. Oh, guys, books are so expensive. Yo, yo, yo. Not this other module, not this other lecture telling us that you know what you need to buy a new textbook because it's a new edition. Yo, I went to the fun sky. The book was six hundred and I wanted to scream out loud, you know, but. At that particular time, now I'm feeling it. I was just like, yo, I asan ngoba gitengat. But at that time, I was just like, mureki. I was swiping. Okay, fifth edition. Can I also have um hashtag? Can I also have chips? Like, where, where are we going to? When are we going to the cafeteria? I'm craving fries, <laughs> guys. Really, like I was legit spending, and as far as money, I don't know, like what you know. Yeah, but for me also, like I had to start like buying clothes because my clothes were not. We're not like good 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 you know yeah but i had to start like buying clothes and it also helped me like with buying books buying my blankets i don't want to lie like and as far as 
still get like most of us like the majority of us if we look at our lives before NSFAS and now like wow NSFAS like really helped us to be like living the life that we live in today you know even though like after finishing your qualification but at least it gives you like that comfort with you know like with NSFAS money you can make a lot you know some people are visiting other people like the building houses at home some they're putting tombstones for their parents some are doing their licenses and I love them for, I love I love it for them you know yeah so for me I had to do like all of those things I had to start from scratch you know buying a new suitcase buying this buying this buying that you know yeah and what else guys I've written some like things to guide me and as far as we've covered it or oh, the registration the registration for me was not so bad you know like after i registered first yeah I, I didn't even like need anyone to help me with the registration i just like inserted my pin and my my, my student number and everything just went smooth i got a, a notification from the and an sms that you know what my my registration was successful then after then i think after a week or like after a couple of days i received that sms from nsfas that my nsfas is okay you know yeah and also guys with the res res uh jabu helped me you know remember i told you guys that I applied for on campus and I got the SMS before I moved to PE that I was placed off campus. But I don't know that if you were placed off campus, you were supposed to go like to the school directly to the school. And when you get there, you show them the SMS, which shows that you know what you are played, we are placed off campus. Then when I school they're gonna assist you because I was the first year. So obviously I don't know like what is off campus, what is like on campus, you know, like terminology sana, you know, yeah, like I don't know any any of those, you know, yeah then well, what happened what happened guys didn't like i'm trying to like remember everything that happened you know yeah then okay i stayed off campus ajabu helped me with like he plucked me with the rest the rest was good guys i enjoyed my first year i enjoyed my first year up until covid happened yo hi son and then I was busy like enjoying, I was in my varsity era, but when I was enjoying, you know, and one thing I really liked about myself, okay, like I think from first week of like classes, I was like at the study room because I knew say, I'm here for this particular thing, you know, and also I didn't want to disappoint my parents, say, like now I'm going to focus on eating and as far as money and I'm not going to study, you know, like I made it a point, I think it helped me because like we had to move like from face to face to online, you know, like I made it a point that every day I study, I study, I use those textbooks, I don't want to lie, you know, so what do you call this? COVID happened, we were obviously like forced to go home because they said like the spread is too much like it's spreading too much and also my family was just like on my nerves they were telling me that you know what you need to come back home yeah it's not safe like oh, what's that thing like oh I time the guy was doing yo 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 like every time even now like i went home and they were like oh, like you are literally like and you you good the guys did like in case of emergency my family is gonna suffer like legit they're gonna suffer because i'm, I'm just like so far from home and i don't like that whole idea of me like being from far from home you know yeah but it's for my own benefit because like i'm i've got a qualification and you know like i made them happy you get yeah so i said on campus what do you call this sorry uh COVID happened we were forced to move like from face to face to online guys and i didn't know anything about online so we had to adjust we had to learn they introduced i think phase one and phase two like phase one we were like doing like online fully online and phase two i think they were gonna wait for second semester or i think until when the spread is just not too much when it's it was like decreasing yeah so that they can return back to school you get yeah so now i chose that phase but in the phase one which was like fully online i went home and it was not easy guys like studying at home it was not easy and that time my little sister was just like so young she could like cry at night like she was still a baby no guys in and now i'm like more productive at night you know like during the day obviously i would do like the house chores and stuff but at night like i was forced to study i was forced to study and luckily like everything went well but yo this one other module nearly made me fail not my first day obviously but like i nearly failed that module because that module was not in gathering in my system guys in like it was not gathering in my my head you uh, that module was showing me flames you know but like i'm just like grateful that you know what i invested more time on it like i i made sure that i go to like wi-fi places to to watch like videos youtube videos and listen to the classes and i passed it you know i passed it even though i didn't pass it with like great marks but you know what i i'm just like so grateful that i didn't do like a re-exam and stuff you know like i passed it like because wow because i'm feeling you know moving forward second year oh not this phone second year um hmm. 
not me guys wanted to change a course for what i don't know i was influenced by people people were changing courses like second year like people were changing courses like left right and center you know some other friends of mine they were changing courses they were telling me simon we're changing courses we're doing this and nami i nearly oh i did let me not say i nearly i did i applied for a change of qualification because child i was influenced i was like you know what i need to be like studying a south campus see you know those like south campus like if you know south campus you know it like south campus it's it's university you know like here in pe it's where university is at you know like at the second avenue like Baraki high school like everyone that's what they're saying you know yeah so i was like you know what i need to go to like south still in now we're the bachelor of what what the bachelor of what what we're the painting we're the what do you call radio and don't don't like do all those things you know yeah when you're at south campus like legit you feel like you're in real campus you know like yeah no cap no cap you know so i was influenced i applied and guys I applied late. Those people applied, I think, October because uh, the change of qualifications, like, you, you're you supposed to do them, like, I think October. Applications, are, are, like, they, they open in October. Then now I applied, like, for late ones in January. And obviously, January have to wait because, like, it's not only you. Some other people are changing now. We're like, guning, guning, you know. And my application was referred to, to departmental selection, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was departmental selection departmental and don't don't and my status stayed there for like literally i think three weeks hey i on the last week on that three week i was just like panicking uh -uh. classes are about to commence in like a week so what is gonna happen with my life i remember calling home i was just like you know what at this point i am dropping out because like there is nothing like that i'm gonna do here my status is just like on referral and don't don't departmental status whatever you call it and obviously i'm not gonna be able to register and classes are starting like very soon you know i had to call the school i had to email them they will take like literally seven days to reply to your email that time i'm panicking i am crying some other people like when i check my status it says like departmental and don't do any, and it says my documents are outstanding that time i've uploaded all my documents my matrix certificate like literally everything i've uploaded it but it was telling me that my my my, my, my documents are missing i had to call home like asking for my idc and you guys didn't like it was a mess like 2021 which was my second year it was literally a mess like that yo like 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 every year of my, my my university life like in the beginning it's just like trauma 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 let that year it was trauma again you know like i'm just like like a trauma like trauma is just following me literally you know yeah so fast forward um okay it's not me forgetting what i was talking about child mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> my nozzles are so cold mm. let me pour more drinks son um i'm drinking coke yeah this is what I'm drinking. Ooh. So, guys, when people registered for they registered for their courses and don't do need to start with like their second years and their academic year and stuff, you know. Now it's just like they like looking at everyone like after a week they received their ends first money. Sorry, and that time it was February, like last week of february i was just like you know what here i'm picky because even my mar my rest manager was just like on my nerves as well like she was telling me would see hey simon you're not appearing on my system me hey, what's wrong with your NSFAS? that time nike really changed of qualification for what i do not know it do, it's not like i didn't like the qualification that i was doing i love the qualification that i'm doing i'm very comfortable with it i'm very proud of it you know i love it so much but due to like influence yeah you know what and guys like i'm still new in university you know so People are telling me that you know what okay we've been in campus like for three months because you know we've been in campus for three months in our first year then we went home we came back i think late on our first year and we didn't even see each other because we were like online and like second year i went to buzz about you no 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 we're changing we're moving to south campus because that is where the experience is at you know i'm following you guys you know yeah so uh, on the last week i remember uh, I got an email and they were like, okay, what do you call this? I need to submit my documents and stuff. I think they lost them or whatever. I don't know. Like there is an error that happened. I uploaded them and the following week, uh, everything was sorted. They, what's in? 
Long we said a good qualification that I was doing in my first year, you know, like I got the SMS again, which I'm accepted, and yeah, that was basically it. I read I managed to register and I was late, guys. Obviously, people had like started with classes by then. Now I was late for classes, but it wasn't like a big deal because like it's online, you know. Obviously, I was still gonna like catch up, you know, because I'm my classes, they do record them, you know, yeah. So I I managed to register. I got my NS first money. We chowed the money. We chowed the money. We chowed the money. As per usual, what did I do with my second year money? My book allowance. Oh, I bought a new because like first day they gave us a laptop at school because we were moving to online and Sinabanya we didn't have laptops, you know, yeah. So they they gave us laptops at school. They Basile Pitura they gave me a laptop from school, but obviously they were gonna deduct on my second year allowance and my third year allowance, yeah. Then the laptop was 5k, so they were gonna take 2.5, 2.5, you know, yeah. So, ooh. okay, oh, with my, my, my second year money, like my book elements, I bought what you call this a laptop. Yeah, I bought a new laptop for myself because I was uh, not feeling this whole idea of me having to pay, like, and give and what time it's time to score it, the guys in what time I installment and what time, like, in those time in the school, it and it's handy, please, and it's handy, I get right, you know. So, I returned the laptop from school to school and yeah like everything was just like so excited they gave me my money and we did second year online again yeah second year it was online yeah it was online again a lot of schoolwork you know a lot of schoolwork i was just like so focused on my schoolwork and oh i got a job so i had to like balance between like me working because i was like literally working every day like every day every day every day every day, every day i was working you know and i was working and studying so i had to balance that and luckily i also managed to pass all my first semester and my second semester modules and i passed them very 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 well you know yeah that's one thing i really like i'm proud of because i'm just like you know what even though like in the future i can move like to what you call this I can get what you call this a permanent job and stuff. I can still like do my if maybe I wanna further my studies. I can still do my honors, my masters, and my PhD. PhD, yeah, D and still do my PhD or do another qualification. You know, because like I know what you know what if my mind is focused on this, I'm gonna do it. You know, yeah. And also this shift that I was working, they were like just allowing. You know, yeah, because I was I was working night shift and during the day I could like study, catch up on classes. Sometimes that work is not that busy. You know, so I what do you call this. I would, I could like study and do assignments because then assignments are so draining. Yo, yo, yo. assignments are so draining. Give it more any test to Like I wish we were right. Like we had that option of writing test only because sometimes assignment dear Pumasana, you don't understand the topic and most of the assignments they do carry like most marks as compared. To, oh, uh, I'm lying. The exams they carry sixty percent and your assignments they carry like 40 percent like yeah with the quizzes and stuff you know guys the terminology in university it's a lot only the quiz only the assignment the corona there is a lot if you don't know the terminology china you're gonna suffer you're gonna legit suffer you know yeah so i was doing weekly quizzes see in my first day, some of them I was not even writing them because I, was, I didn't know what is the quiz. Sometimes I would ask my friends, "What type of You have you guys had a quiz? No, I didn't see it. You know, yeah. So I think that that is the main point as to why I I nearly nearly failed that module because I was just not paying attention to it and I was not so invested in it. Like honestly, because like every week normal quiz. Like after finishing a chapter this week, next week Monday quiz. And that quiz is contributes like maybe four percent like towards your 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 your, your semester mark and nah i was not doing that i was at home i was chilled i was polars oh and also at the time i was at home i was working as well oh guys you get it like him seriously please god give me a permanent job you're coming in the ceo a big you know yeah and also like coming here in pe i think it has also like opened more opportunities for me you know and i love it so much you know i love it so much i never thought that you know what today i could be here in pe like doing what i'm doing now and I'm just so happy, you know, like, the, the, the risk was worth it, you know, me taking the risk to come to be was just, like, worth it, you know, I was worth it, I met, I met amazing people, and it was really good, you know, yeah, so now we're left with third year, you know, yeah, before we do that, guys, um, I think also that one thing that made my university life more is that it was just, like, the language, okay, this hot, this lights are so hot, you know, I hope the lighting is good to you guys, you know, yeah, because the time right now, I think it's gonna be one, ooh, child, the notification, it's, you see, yeah, so I've been like talking. I think by one I'm gonna be done. Yeah, only like 10 minutes left, you know. Yeah, so what was I saying? Let's take you know, every time we eat, we, we remember what we we're saying. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I was talking about the language part. 
So PE is mostly like dominated by Kosa people, um, colored, you know, obviously colored, they speak like Afrikaans, English, and they color and they, 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 obviously they speak like Kosa because like it's mostly dominated by them, you know, yeah. So for language, it wasn't like a bit of um, a barrier because like, I had a bit of a background when it comes to like the not the language but like Zulu and Kosa is like more or less of the same thing, you know, yeah. It's 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 the same as Swana Pedi and Sutu. Like this three, like if like you Umuntu Shasho, like one of the words, like they do like correspond day in day, you know, like it's more like the same thing. I hope I'm making sense, you know, yeah. So the language part was good, you know, it was not giving me a problem. I think the problem the problem I was having it was like English because guys been like hey like coming up with the English word it was just like a lot, you know. Obviously the words were not like that hectic, but like just forming a sentence is like yo and this time like I'm surrounded by white people and they're just like talking and everybody like is okay, zini. like I yay the pressure was was getting higher. Like it was getting higher and then now I was going down because like every time i meet people hi how are you my name is oh, oh, oh. i'm doing this and this and this and this where are you going how huh? your son and i'll be like okay i understand like i'll be that guy with oh then they will they conclude with ah, this guy doesn't speak a lot i speak a lot i prat i prat i prat too much i prat too much but obviously it depends with who i'm with you know yeah but i'm not that loud 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 like i don't speak that much guys please I don't speak that much, but at that time I wanted to be like in a in a nutshell and be like, mm, you know, yeah, like not communicate much because guys in you, cause I had to plan a sentence like ipumela. Then I was, I was like, okay, this was so. Mas ipuma ipuma ngi njele stana ipuma in past tense. That time ifunuko show into enze kamaji on ipuma ngi past tense. Yo 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 yo, huh, son? And it, like. One thing I like about university is that people will never love at you. Like everyone is just like literally minding their own business. They don't care whether you say like a, a wrong don't don't. If Muntu can understand that they will reply to you and they will make you like comfortable, you like ube comfortable, like ube right, you know, yeah. So that's one thing I really liked about like university. It's like just be you, man. Just be you. Enjoy university. We all gonna make mistakes. Most of the people they didn't make like English as home language and stuff. And you know, like man, English is not but obviously now we're like you need to what you call it? you need to educate yourself you need to what you call this like read a lot so that like your communication it can like, grow like know how to communicate with people because like guys university last like communicate we're gonna have like group assignments whereby you have to contribute something when you're gonna be busy over every day you agree mm. are you gonna you do you have anything to say mm -mm, i don't is, is the assignment okay mm. um anything you want to add nothing like uh, you don't have to be that person you have to be like you know what yeah but i think in my first day i was just like you know in an i don't know what you call this what do you call this thing in a, i wasn't the closest <laughs> in the closest closet closet yeah in the closet son i was in the closet you know yeah so i was just like mm. and i was like about my sexuality i was just like mm, okay but like pe like like people are out there and like they made it very easy for me you know like i didn't feel i didn't feel any type of way like i was just like free i was myself and like people here are just like non-judgmental like like they just non-judgmental everybody just looking at their business and they're very supportive and you know what if you find the right people like sana you're gonna survive your university journey and pe is one of the good universities in Slovenia. sana i highly recommend i highly recommend on that note you know like the support they gave us through that like Online learning, notch, super, super, super good. You know, guys, let's make third year before. Okay, let's see here. Okay, online learning, we have, we have checked it. Um, what is this? Okay. Oh, change of qualification, I've covered it. Okay, let's do third year. So third year, obviously, started with my internship. Guys, I've been saying internship for the longest time ever. You are, guys, maybe not in Portugal, but every time this person's going to say internship, this internship, that internship, that thing. Like, it's like I'm dating. Every chance I get, get like internship, internship. But like, honestly, guys, this is part of my story. It's part of my university. What you call this experience? I got my internship, which was also a struggle to find. Guys, like, one thing I hate about the course I was doing is that they don't give you like this that support when it comes to 30 and also i didn't know 
I was like clueless of like the fact that you know what you need to do an in self in service training which is like an internship yeah for you in order for you to graduate and imagine guys like passing all your modules from first year second year and most of you are third year like you pass all your modules then this internship is holding you back from graduating like some people I know some other people like but they've been here in university for five years and they've been struggling to find internship like this thing it's not it's not it's not good people in our in our forecast should definitely like look at this thing and like they, they should help people you know yes we can help ourselves like Sam, they do door to door look for places and you know like like do but in job shout shout shit shadowing and stuff i don't know is this the right one same but i guess but eh, we move yeah like since they're into angel you know and also like now they they start they they they, 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 they are supposed to, to help us like uh, uh guys they, they're not supposed to yes they do us give us a list of like the places where like the previous in what you call this graduates did their internships at and that's where after then it's from you to apply at those different places and obviously guys they're not going to take all like maybe 160 students at all those places you know some other places obviously financially they're going you know so they don't have the money to pay students and you know it's just it's just a lot you know in some other places they are too small to accommodate a, a large number of people you get so it's just a lot you know yeah but i think people in our faculty should just redo like relook at that and just provide assistance in any kind of way they can or also maybe just say to those who don't find it they must come to school i don't know do something maybe what you call the tutor the the first years like do something yana they should give them something guys ah, this thing is very sad like legit very sad i hope this thing is recording stand because i'm gonna scream if it's not recording i am gonna scream you know yeah so guys we are almost done because wow these lights are so hot child you know yeah huh. I think I'm gonna enjoy my meal so quickly when I'm done doing this video because well suffering. I think I should start doing this with my videos at this time because like this time I speak sense and you know if like we're singing the mini I was gonna have a lot of distractions and I was gonna I was not gonna be able to do like a long video for you guys. Let's just to give you guys like my brief what do you call this um my university experience like a whole experience you know yeah hey guys in the second year during my part abanya masel abanya masel katsengi 5 kg i bought a 5 kg of chicken hi guys hey i don't know what happened hi guys party appeared i was hosting in my room here guys if you know me i used to host everybody like every year i would host i started in my first year I think one thing that made me comfortable in like hosting it was just that like I was a floor representative in my first year. Second year, I was a house com. Or third year, I moved to a totally different place, you know. Yeah. So I done quite a The party ended. I would, these two guys came into my room. They were like, I'm China, let's eat. Ah, now me tell food. I took one, one piece of chicken and I go tomorrow morning and I pick him, son, and again, you know. I went to do them, like, I confronted them with I will my gents. When in the so I was like I will food in with with coward take it like we are hungry you know but I was like you know yeah <laughs> but that was the funny thing because like you're stealing somebody's food somebody's food and you're coming to their room to eat that food with like it's been in it's to be the nerve sana like the audacity you know yeah but okay that's that's that you know we didn't fight and we we're just cool and it was just like a loving moment for all of us you know yeah because that was actually my first time babang it bab the first time they were stealing food from me you know like i had put my my, my, my food in the fridge for the, for the longest time ever and they had never like stolen my food and that was my first experience and i didn't even like go to the cctv to check and i was just like i needed this experience you know just to have something to tell to my kids to my sisters to like whoever i made you know yeah and yeah third year internship great great um i was working as well after my internship i worked oh guys God, but God, you know, I don't know what to thank you. Like, what should I thank you with? Like, because you have been so good to me. Like, legit, you have been so good. Like, the, the job opportunities you've been providing me with. Like, wow, I love it so, so much. And also, one thing I liked about my, my theater is that, like, I was, like, focused on my, 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 school, my school work, you know. Like, I was focused. I could work, like, night shift, come back in the morning. Like, I will attend the class. My roommate, my ex-roommate will tell you, like, he knew do the man with us in I maybe I take a nap for like two, two, two hours. Then after then I attend my classes. Like I was like focused. I was in my focused era. I guess and I didn't want any mistake because I was like, you know what? 
as I move it from that place that I was staying at in my first day and second year, because I moved from that place because um the place like it was just like a lot like poopies, you get us music, like poopies, like get us for party every weekend. So I was just not gonna survive, like legit. I was just not gonna survive like that kind of environment. Cause you know what? Sometimes in life you need to be like selfish with your life, with your like your choices. Cause I was just like you know what? As much as I'm gonna leave my friends here, but this thing at the end of the day is gonna benefit me because I know one thing about myself. I'm not gonna. I don't know how to hold myself, you know. If my friends, they come to me and they be like, you know what, let's go to Groove. I'm going to go, you know, yeah. So I needed to, to move to a place, to a different place so that I can get like, in that way, quiet and focus on my schoolwork and go to work. Like work, schoolwork, work, schoolwork, you know, yeah. So third year, uh, it, it was great, you know, a lot, like a lot happened. First year, I didn't have any modules. I just did my, what do you call it, portfolio of evidence, which is like writing about my future plans and stuff. And I did my internship. Second year, uh, we had like, uh, how many modules? I think four with three majors. Yeah, three majors. Guys, you fail a major, you fail. You fail a major, you fail. One thing you should know, that is my advice for me in my course. You fail a major, you, if you fail. And major majors, you're supposed to pass them by 60% upwards. That's how much you are supposed to pass them by, you know, yeah. So second, what do you call this? Third year, uh, second semester, we did that. And it was just like a lot of too, of like too much schoolwork. I was like always like every week I had a submission of an assignment and guys in assignments are called 6,000 weights, 3,000 weights, you have to do a presentation. Me, go away. I was like, wow. Like I was literally so drained. I remember like after finishing my, my, my writing, like my, what do you call this? After submitting my last assignment, I was just like, wow, we are finally done because this thing has been training like imagine working if i wasn't working like it was gonna be like manageable because it's just like four modules you know guys in we are m7 zine i was like tired when we m7 zine now i have to do a guys in it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot and i remember this other this other time i had a submission i think two days for for this module and either time i got to tell you what do you call it? I split tea on my laptop and it started like acting up. Oh, Sana, see, Lele. I remember asking my friend for a laptop so that I can type, and my friend saw me crying. I was going down. Putting me a passed today. I must have a good shame because wow, the devil was legit testing me. Like, I was gonna fail that module if like my friends were not here. Like, guys, it's very nice to make friends, it's very nice. To, to, to know people because if when I was a figure at university and if you pillar we one you're not gonna survive my sister or brother you are definitely not gonna survive it's very nice to make like know people like people greet everyone you meet because you don't know like where in life like you're gonna need them you know yeah so make sure that you greet everyone you just oh god not this phone child yeah like just make sure that you are okay with everyone because like imagine if I was just like the pillar one just being this solo guy every day I'm, I'm alone I was gonna fail, child, because I wasn't gonna ask the friend that I have now to borrow me the laptop and get the assignment done, you know, yeah. And obviously, I was gonna suffer because tomorrow I have to go to school and the school in Mofigale, they tell you that you have to book a lesson and stuff. Oh, child, to use the laptops and the computer from school. Oh, I was gonna fail that module. And that assignment, I think it contributed 35% of my of my semester mark, you know, yeah. And I, was, I, I don't like one thing about me, guys. As much as they give us like re exams and stuff, free assignment, I don't like them. Now, personally, I give you right there. I don't like them. I feel like they are more difficult, and the time they give you there, it's just small time. Like, it's kind of it's very little time they give you, you know. So I was just like, mm -mm, I'm definitely not doing this, you know. I am definitely not doing this. But yeah, guys, either way, guys, my university journey was just like a lot. As you can see by this video, I think I have told you guys everything that had happened and a lot a lot is history guys like the rest the rest the rest is history like the rest is history as much as i was grooving i was like going out and stuff i'm still proud like i'm super 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 proud of myself that you know what as my even my friends i remember that i went now and i must not pick and i was so free that because now i'll go to groove then when i come back i know that hey stan the study room is waiting for you my sister my brother i mean the study room is waiting for you i'll take my study my wedding my school back in the study room and my friends will find me there they were like oh when i was scam was scam you're taking us to groove then when when you come back you are studying you know that's bad guys in like if you know good see in a life like outside of what do you call it outside of groove because groove is just like a part-time entertainment and after then pay lily you know so now 
I didn't want to jeopardize my career for like a groove, you know. I didn't want to do like that, you know. So I know with, as much as I'm grooving, I still have school work. I still have parents to make proud. I still have siblings. I still like, I want to set a good example to my siblings, to, to the people who are coming from after me, you know, yeah. Even though they're seeing my status, me grooving and stuff, but like me qual completing my qualification is something that is going to make them proud. And they're going to say, okay, this is the first person to go to university. He made us proud and things like that, you know. That's one thing I really loved. And you know what? Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I think I've covered everything. God wanna get cover really everything that he needs to be covered in this video, and you know the rest. The rest is is history. The rest is history. A lot happened in university. You know, a lot happened, and I'm super grateful for for the experience. You know, and if you no get university, that's it. Just go to university. Just get that experience. Like it's very nice getting the university experience. You know, yeah. Like it's it's very nice. Like I highly recommend. It. Please, when you get a chance to go to university, get the experience. But if you're not a university person, just stay where you are. If you feel comfortable in where you are, you know, because some other people they are not doing it for like the career. Don't do you know? They're just doing it for the experience. You know, yeah. And that that's good. You know, everyone is just doing it for like different reasons. You know, some people they are here in university because they are studying whatever because of whatever reasons you know like we're studying for our different reasons some people are studying because they want to open businesses some are you know just like it's just a lot you know it's just a lot our dreams are not are not the same even though we can do like the same qualification some other people are going to switch like when they're going to like in the next year when they're furthering with their studies them some they're going to start afresh with new qualifications so it's just a lot you know yeah but either way guys um you know it's just time of the year i have to give you guys like uni content and last year i did um what do you call this the things you should bring to res and if you haven't watched that video please make sure to watch that video i would definitely appreciate that and if you you know just share with you with me if you're a first year you're a second year you're a third year you're a postgraduate like just share with us like the how how, how does it work especially in postgrad because like finding you got postgrad is going down like a lot of people are struggling with post grade, you know. Yeah, but either way, guys, just share me with me like one or two lines. Just you know, share with me like your experiences. You know, yeah, I would definitely love to to read that, to see that. And yeah, guys, don't forget to come back, come back. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. I love that. I love that. Don't forget to again. Let's do it one more time. I do with you guys this time around. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Ah, I started it. In a wrong way don't forget to come back come back subscribe subscribe love that love that i'll see you guys in my next video bye